It's the most entertaining, longest reigning YouTube channel on Death Frontier history with your host, the man that runs the show, the man that everybody knows, the man that's right here in the flesh, the man that is the very best. Tariff Biz Sound because it's about to go down right here, right now. It's champion. What's going on, everybody? It's been a crazy last couple of days for me. You guys are reading the title, thinking, oh, champion got early access. I'm ready for that Death Frontier 2 content. But I got some bad news for you guys, and especially bad news for myself, and that's the fact that Death Frontier 2 doesn't work for my computer. My computer doesn't meet the requirements for Death Frontier 2. I've been working on the issue for at least 10 to 12 hours. I got early access early Friday. It was funny how it happened. Because at first I didn't get it. Like it happened Friday morning. And I didn't get a PM for Ammon Pawn. I said something on the DF2 Discord. I was like man where my early access at? What's going on now? And uh, five minutes later Ammon Pawn he sent me a PM. It was crazy. Because as soon as I saw his avatar on my Discord. My jaw dropped a little bit. I couldn't believe it. I was like is this for real? This can't be. So I clicked on it. It was actually him. He gave me the Steam code. It was just so cool just having him message me privately, just giving me that code. It was like a dream come true. I was so happy, so thrilled. He said, I watched your last video. You convinced me enough. Here you go. I told him, thank you. I won't let you down. I'm going to get that content out there. The video is the live stream. Let's make this game big. I was hyping up and everything. He was happy about it, and I was ready to go. So when I started loading Death Frontier 2 on my Steam, the downloading part was fine. It downloaded in like 5 to 10 minutes. The game didn't take that long to download. So the download part, that was the easy part. But once I clicked on play and once I got the game loading, that was the difficult part. It wouldn't load. It crashed. It said not responding. Sometimes it did load. But once it did load, it gave me a black screen. Like, it didn't even, like, take me to the game. I had a lot of problems with the launch. And I still do have problems with the launch. And I've been trying to figure out what the issue was for a good 10 to 12 hours. Uh, it was tough because I had work, too. I couldn't really get on Death Frontier uh, that much. Or, should I say, Steam to really figure out the problem. I tried a lot of things, though. And none of them seemed to work for me. So, lucky for me, thanks to Amma, she messaged uh, Amma Pawn privately for me because uh, I wasn't available at the time. She figured out the issue. Well, Amma Pawn told her what the issue was, which is the fact that I don't have enough RAM to run DF2 on. And I'm going to get into that with you guys in a little bit here because I want to make sure you guys don't have the same problem that I'm having. Like, I tried a lot. Like, I uninstalled a lot of programs i freed up a lot of space but the main thing that you guys want to check is how much ram or should i say just gigabytes your computer actually takes so you can either check your ram by this isn't mine by the way this is someone else's i just didn't want to uh give out my personal one but you can check out your ram by searching on your computer just type in system or system and security then click on system and it should take you to a screen like this and once you get to this screen I'll try and make this a little bigger you'll see installed memory RAM it says 4 gigabytes that's what I have I have 4 and let me scroll down for a little bit this is why I'm on this page for you guys too by the way because once you scroll down it says minimum 3 gigabyte RAM. So I read that and I was like, oh, I have 4 gigabytes. This takes 3 gigabytes. Oh, yeah, I should be good. No problem. I, I'll get the Death Frontier running, Death Frontier 2 running in no time. So I thought I was fine. But uh, before I get into that, it says 3.74 gigabytes usable. Mine doesn't even have uh, that in the parentheses. Mine just says 4 gigabytes. So either or, I mean, this is what it is. So make sure you check that out or you can go into your task manager and how you do that is you hit control alt and delete and as you can see I have my programs I have a Google Chrome Camtasia which is what I'm recording it's just a bunch of other stuff that my computer requires in order to run so once you go into task manager you have to click on performance and then once you click on performance I mean 
my test manager is going to look different than yours maybe I mean because we have different computers but you get the general idea you have to go under memory so once you go under memory you'll see right here four gigabytes so you can also check how much gigabytes you have just by going under performance and checking the memory so mine has four gigabytes but the problem is mine says in use 2.3 available 1.6 gigabytes I need three 3.0 gigabytes in order to get Dev Frontier 2 to work, which is why my game hasn't been working. So I ordered RAM online. I ordered the 8 gigabytes because, for example, um, I know Amma, she has 8 gigabytes, and with her PC and Dev Frontier 2, it takes up 7 gigabytes total out of 8. And she still is having like lag problems as well because she only has 1 gigabyte really free. So you really want to make sure you have like 2 to 3 gigabytes uh, freed up when you're running Dev Frontier 2. That way you don't lag that much. I mean it takes a lot for Dev Frontier to run. Like I was really like not looking into it that much. And which is why I'm addressing it to you guys because Death Frontier 2 actually takes a lot more to run on your PC than I actually thought it would. Which is why I'm making this video and I want to share this with you guys so you guys don't have the same issue I'm having. Lucky for me, I got early access. So I'm able to share this with you guys before uh, the release date which is August 31st. That way if you guys have this problem, you guys will know how to fix this problem before the release date. So what I did was I ordered new RAM, so I had to go into my computer, like the mo uh, the modem. I had to unscrew it, check my RAM, uh, check what uh, what kind of RAM I used, also what computer I have, and I had to order it online, which came out to be like close to eighty dollars, which is a lot. RAM is actually pretty expensive, so really, I spent eighty dollars just to play Death Frontier, and I'm not even sure if it will work, but. If I were to take a guess, I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm pretty certain that's the problem. Emmett Pond said that's the problem. And by looking at this, yeah, it is the problem. I only have 1.7 gigabytes available. And I need 3 to run the game. So, in order for you guys to really reduce memory, or should I say just gigabytes, you have to go under your processor. See how I, see how I have Chrome open and it's taking out a lot. If I would exit out Chrome, for example, it would change my gigabytes to 1.7 to 2.5. And I'm not going to exit out Chrome, but I'll give you guys an example. So what you guys have to do is just go under the memories section and it says 57%. And you'll see what programs are taking up uh most of the memory for you so you'll know what programs to exit out if you want to free up some ram in order for you to play Death frontier and uh yeah that looks to be it but it was just a <sighs> crazy couple of days and if you guys have any questions about this let me know like i had four gigabytes like i told you like i thought i was fine and I really didn't realize that I was actually using 2.2 gigabytes and I can't seem to get it to where I have 3.0 gigabytes available. And you guys already know I live stream, I make videos, and that's going to take some gigabytes as well. So I have a lot of gigabytes that I'm going to be using once I play Death Frontier 2, which is why I bought the RAM because I knew I had no choice. I tried everything. I exited out Chrome. I exited out Camtasia. Just everything I exited and it still didn't work for me like it just said most I got available was 2.5 2.6 I could not get it to 3.0 and even if I did get it to 3.0 it will still lag for me because I won't have enough uh, gigabytes or uh, MB freed up for me to be able to really play Death Frontier 2 on smoothly it has nothing to do with like potato connection like people said to me oh you can always use potato mode that doesn't matter because but whether it's potato mode or whether it's playing death frontier 2 without potato mode it still requires the same gigabytes so oh just read the system requirements make sure that yours actually meets the requirements and just the fact that my computer wasn't able to uh run on death frontier 2 
I would make sure that your computer runs on it. Like, I don't have a crappy computer. I don't have a great computer, but I have a decent computer that should be runnable. I played a game called Killing Floor on Steam uh, on my computer. I played League of Legends and, you know, Death Frontier. I run fine on, but Death Frontier doesn't really take much for you to run. And I just felt that Death Frontier 2 is actually going to work for me. And I'm really disappointed that it didn't. I feel like I disappointed a lot of people because this was you know this was posted a long time ago and i really didn't take under consideration on how much uh gigabytes i was actually using compared to what i had available i just thought i had four i had four gb uh gigabytes i should say and memory is three and i should be good but that wasn't the case and i'm just disappointed that i wasn't able to figure out this issue before i got early access but I can't remember me saying thank you in the beginning. But I do want to thank Admin Pawn for giving me that early access. I did get the quickest shipment possible on that RAM. So hopefully it works. I should get it by Wednesday, maybe Tuesday at the earliest. So thank you for Admin Pawn. It's a privilege just to get um, early access. And I'm just really thankful to have that opportunity just to make videos and get that content out there before the game releases and I really hope uh, it works once I get the RAM and I'm gonna just keep trying and hopefully different tier 2 works for me and I also want to thank you guys as well because without you guys I wouldn't even have this early access to begin with this is for youtubers and streamers and just the fact that this YouTube channel has grown to become one of the biggest if not the biggest different tier YouTube channel there is I just really appreciate what you guys have done for me because without you guys I wouldn't have been getting some of the things that I've been getting in this game and one of those things is early access you guys made that happen and I appreciate you guys for helping me get that early access and drop in the comments if you have any questions whether Death Frontier 2 will be runnable for you hopefully I clear things up for you guys I know I explained a lot here and I know there's some non-English people, so maybe some of the stuff I explained might be a little complicated for you guys to really understand. But that's why I'm here to reply in the comments. Make sure you understand. Make sure uh, I understand what you're trying to tell me. And I just want Death Frontier 2 to work for everybody. And like I said, I'm making this video to create something positive out of this. I'm really... I'm frustrated, I'm a little depressed over this because I was really excited for Death Frontier 2 and just to have this not work and I went through a lot today like I went to Best Buy uh, for those that don't know what Best Buy is it's just places where it has like computer stuff for you to get your RAM I went to Best Buy like two to three times going back and forth really trying to get this RAM and turns out they don't have it uh, I went to a couple other stores I couldn't get it and the best bet is to really get it online you just have to know what type of computer you have and how much RAM you need and you just really want to make sure that you buy the right RAM you don't want to purchase the wrong RAM and you know put in your computer or else it's not going to work so for those that feel like you need RAM just you know uh, let me know or if you understand what I'm saying look online and hopefully you get the issue resolved just like I'm trying to get my issue resolved currently um, thanks for watching everybody uh, I'll be live streaming too every day or at least trying to uh, I'll link you guys my twitch I live stream probably like four to five times this week I stopped with the live stream in the last couple of days because of this chaotic mess and I'm just happy that I feel like I found a solution to my problem. I know what's wrong and I hope I can get it fixed and, you know, just go, go about it from there. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hopefully this will help you guys uh, with your issues if you don't have Death Frontier 2 working when it launches. This is to help everybody out. Like I said, um, like comment subscribe love y'all i will get that df2 content out i promise you guys i will work my butt off to make sure the game works um peace out